It's that good drama. It's that good drama, man. Hey. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> shit. Hey, bro, you're not going to guess what we about to play right now. Oh, you already seen the title. See, damn, bro, you are not a good person. When somebody is expressing excitement to you and they want to surprise you, you're supposed to just play along even if you know already what the surprise is. You're going to sit there and be like, oh, I already know it's until dawn. I see the title. You're fucking sick. This is one of them games where I've seen it be commented multiple times since the beginning. I already know it's a highly requested and respected game. So I'm now finally getting to it. This is my first playthrough. I have not seen any footage of this. If I do have any knowledge of this in my brain, it's lost somewhere deep, deep in the lagoons. Before we get into this, make sure you and drop calm. Cause why you don't drop calm? I like to read. I like to see what you feeling. Get in the mental trenches with you. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, real quick, before we get into this, I want to say that there's an audio issue with the character speaking. Like the music and things are fine, but the character speaking for some reason is like very muffled and like reverb. Like it's in a cave almost. And I tried to fix it, but I couldn't. I Googled it and I found out that is that is an issue with this game. Moving forward, I will find a solution before we continue on with the episodes. I did do one more episode after that during this sitting but yeah it's not my fault but i'm sorry i didn't do anything but sorry for not doing anything hey my bad it's not my fault they like oh that got a ps4 still Ugh. <laughs> you know what? fuck you i've been strictly pc for a while i ain't even been fucking with the console like that i think i gotta poop I get nervous around you niggas. Damn. I'm going to ask you early on. What you eating? You got something in front of you right now? I ate some tuna. I make some. I make a five tuna. Y'all should come over. Grab a rich cracker. Get a little scoop of it just to get a little taste. Or a sandwich with a Kraft single cheese. The good cheese. That's the type of cheese you got to you gotta throw on a tuna sandwich. Not that fancy shit. No, I, you need a slice that's going to take 30 minutes off your life. That plastic bullshit. It's just different, nigga. <laughs> It's super massive. I call that man. That's what we doing. I call that math for math for mad. Is that my is that hey hey? Oh no. I was like, why did she look at me? I can control her. What you looking at? Nah, see, look, 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 look. I'm married. Yeah, exactly, bitch. Eyes up. Watch this. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her ass. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> the butterfly effect. Y'all remember that movie with Ashton Kutcher? A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane. So you telling me it's a butterfly's fault for Hurricane Katrina? I was actually in Louisiana four days before Hurricane Katrina hit. Crazy times. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. I think actually like two days before. Random fact about me, but uh-huh. story is one of many possibilities yeah, i know i know everybody could live everybody could die choose your actions carefully <laughs> i'll try see the quarry i kept everybody alive this one everybody's probably gonna die i'm just a different person now you know Did 
deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on me. I'm not even making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. Talk about it, city boys. She is disgusted. My grandma had a mask like that in the crib. I used to hate it. Hannah! <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. This is Hannah? That is Riddick. That was hey. Vin Diesel. This yeah. nigga always in every I game. Be us this weekend. Josh. He always finds a way to make. Is this a person? Oh, these niggas is blitzed. Straight hammered. White boy wasted. To tart. Yep. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. Oh my god. I didn't What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. I didn't read it. Time. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you you even better out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Mike cock, nigga. Now why are they bullying her ass like this, man? That's that's the worst when playing with her feelings. Everybody else in on it. Just, that's fucked up. But sometimes that's just how, that's just that's just what shapes people. Put that shit on. Use the right stick to look around objects that glint can be expected. Yeah. Is that Casamigos? Oh no, hell no. That's some Captain Morgan, some Jeremiah Craig. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm. I got your note. I'm glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Ain't no way. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of hand. Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, oh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Okay, so Hayden is good people. Hannah. She was trying to look out. Damn, this is like Degrassi. What the fuck was that? Oh, it was Vin Diesel. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Wake Josh, find others. Hey, fuck them niggas, man. Wake Josh up. Josh. Josh. Fuck. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! Oh! Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that confused me for a second. That was... You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Or not, for real. Man, fuck fast. I mean, fuck safety. <laughs> Nigga like me, I'm gonna live dangerous. You know me, I'm dangerous.
Th that both sounds stupid. Audio sounds really weird to me. I'm about to check something. Ain't no way you got service. Oh, with the touchpad? The sense pad or whatever? Hannah! They be having the greatest phone flashlights in these games, bruh. The quarry was like this too. This big ass uh, Coast Guard helicopter. Oh, I can move? Ha ha ha. Let me check the settings because the sound just sounds really weird. <laughs> I jumped in my elbow. Oh, Hannah dead. She dead, baby. Huh? Hannah! I'm jumpy. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What is that? Why did that why did that happen that was nobody but the devil the devil did that to her made her lose the phone here comes the premonition here comes the premonition there's the rock down below where the fuck are we? Bowser's castle? Hold on! Ooh. Oh, that's just a regular nigga. Drop Hannah, let go! Whoa! Ah! That was a regular person just trying to help, for real. Why the fuck would... Oh, because I had to use my other hand to drop her to grab him. He could have grabbed me. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure... I know this nigga! You see, no one can change what happened last year. Bro, he be in so that much shit. Beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. What do he be in? But there's freedom. He was in John Wick. Everything you do, every decision. He's in a lot of shit. I can't we'll think though. Doors to the future. There's one that I'm really like this. I want you to trying to remember. remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Okay, so this is the witch from the quarry? Or whatever she was, the source, uh, so, the fortune teller. You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant, and I want to help you see it through. 
Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting... I'm gonna feel dumb as hell when I remember what he's from that I'm trying to think of right now. You will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? I know what he need to be in. And I want you to look at the picture on the other side. An optometry, uh, <laughs> an optometry <laughs> office. But you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this. Them eyes doing a little, like, whatever they want to. What? Look down. And they just died. Could I have done, well. So I could have kept one of them alive? Nah. I'm just going to think that, like, if I would have let go of Hannah, I would have dropped, too. Like, something would happen. I would have failed. So, at least I can go out and be like, hey, we, we'd ride or die sisters forever. Look, I wonder how much that happens in real life. Like, there's two twins or a set of twins where one is, like, really cool. And the other one is just, like, always there because, of course, she's the twin. But that's the one that they pick on. Like, that's so peculiar. That's weird as fuck. Okay, scarecrows and, and, and barns. So, how did that picture make you feel? Scared. Well, to be honest. Yeah, I feel uneasy. Okay. Honesty is good. What do you think? Look at that freak-ass picture in the back. Uneasy. You make me feel uneasy. The scarecrow, I'm not sure. The whole thing, but like, the scarecrow. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for no. a period of time? Fuck no. A week, for example. I'm not staying there for 10 minutes. No. Oh, no? Why not? I'd be scared. See, a nigga like me in real life, I'm not saying all this. I'm not letting somebody know my weaknesses. That picture that scares you. But for the sake of the game, is there something else in that picture that scares you? The entire existence of it, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Well, that's interesting. Well, I'm afraid we're out of time for now. That'll be $20,000. I would like you to contemplate what it is that it's missing from that picture. This nigga gave me a two-minute hmm. session. The thing that's driving your fear. We need to unwrap it. Don't you agree? I'm but finna go to school. Time. I'm about to get my degree in this shit. It's gonna be somebody mad as hell in the comments that got their degree in this shit. Like, oh, so you th so you think it's just? Look, man, I'm just playing. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna lie, a lot of y'all be con artists though. Y'all worse than them niggas down there in Atlanta. <laughs> Sony Computer Entertainment. I don't know if it's supposed to sound like that. Why? I'm not letting this play because the quarry was giving me mad issues with copyright. So I'm assuming it's going to be the same thing with this. But I'm going to skip and chop as much as I can. As best as I can. Until dawn, Hayden Pantier, Peter Storm, yeah, him, him, him. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out. Audio into sounds a little better, maybe. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't She got one of them Khabib hats on. Something about that mountain seems she to be ready to wrestle bears. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh on this. It's always the a podcast in these show in these uh, games. And Beth that they listen to. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends.
friends and fans. And this shit made me want to drop a vlog. Awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, just kidding, nothing in the world makes me want to, <laughs> to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment. To We're going back. Address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much. To I missed me something. He's related. Was he, he was related Hannah. to the twins. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. He must be related. I'll talk too much. Sorry if I, I really it. want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and okay I bet you know okay so let's party like we're fucking porn stars okay make this one trip we will Wait never a minute. forget all what, right why porn stars yes. <laughs> nigga could have said anything else i mean the actual saying is rock stars right porn stars why do no nah, I'm, I'm stuck on that porn stars hell no nah. it's freaky ass until do until jail until the police come i'm gonna lie the song mid as hell anyways you're not missing <laughs> black wood pants black wood pants here we are back in black wood pants all right now memento mori 10 hours until dawn. Oh. You know what? The brother probably has something to do with the debt. That's the same. That's that's probably the brother. Well, no, because he was he was he was drunk in the kitchen when he appeared. So I'll be I'll be watching Scream. He could be on some ghost face shit. Diligent. Consider it adventurous. Sam Hannah's best. Oh, so that's Hello? also why she was in the friend group. Not only because Someone of her twin there? sister, but also because of Sam. It's a Keebler elf, nigga, with a box of cookies. The gates busted. What? Uh, what? Cl Climb over it, Chris. Damn it. Climb over. What would be the use in going quick? Oh my god. I didn't think it was going to make me do this right now. Just climb, bro. What you what are you jumping for? I know she's a woman and they like to jump to conclusions, but like, I'm just kidding. I just got to get at least one sexist joke off just so, you know, show you I'm a human being and not just pandering to the audience. I really hope the audio is supposed to sound like this. I don't like that. That was pretty simple, but I was not moving and it was still kind of moving a little bit. I feel like that might hold me in some sort of way. Just a little insurance in case I suck. <laughs> Had to let y'all know. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. 
Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death, danger, loss, guidance, fortune. Guidance and fortune are the only positive ones here, it looks like. So yellow, white, and then black, red, and brown is bad. Why do dark colors always got to be bad? It's crazy. I just got to stir the pot. Get a little race war going on in the comments. <laughs> As you explore, of course, got you. Let me pick it up. Okay. Okay. I was yellow. Guidance totem. Oh, five. They got him right here. So that was guidance. All right, bet. Birds of the word. Got it. Future is uncertain whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. There's the bird. <laughs> Character info. Honest, charitable, funny, brave, romantic, curious, Ashley, Chris, Emily. Oh. Oh my god, is that Ellie's backpack? Chris? You here? Bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag. Oh, check it out. Where are you? Hell yeah, I'm in my bag, bitch. I'm in my bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna do a little snoop. Aha! Look who it is. I love a little cheat. He knows it. Chris. Oh, no, this nigga weird. Off rip. So look at him. The structure of his anatomy. Uh, has a crush on Ashley, protective and humorous, methodical. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I see you scrolling with them dry ass lips. <laughs> Don't you try and lick them now. Dry ass lip having ass. You scared me. I I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? was buzzing cool well thanks for letting me know i i can take it from here oh so i found something kind of amazing what i'm not gonna tell you you gotta see for yourself come on it's this way where right around here gonna blow your mind there go that humorous chris right there man what the blow our mind. Ta-da. Pretty rad, right? Weak ass ta-da. Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this? What are you here? talking about? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Didn't uh, even show us. Dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. Chris, cable car station. Oh, I'm Chris now, got you. Okay, so I will be shooting in this game, crazy. I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Ooh, I want to pop this nigga. Should I? I feel like she likes the squirrel and this might upset her and shit. I don't care. Chris, that is so effed up. What? That poor little guy was alive about 10 seconds ago. What would you challenge oh, me for? On. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. Ah! Ooh! Oh, 
Holy oh shit! Dad, get it away! <sighs> Jesus, are, are you okay? This mountain is freaking me out already. Hey, hey, look, our, our cable car is coming. Let's grab our ride. Did I, what did I just do? I did some stupid shit? <laughs> Wait. Chris shot the squirrel nature bit back. A bird attacked Sam. I wonder if the squirrel being there is going to attract something. And I wonder if me being scratched is also going to attract something because of the blood. These are just early. I'm thinking everything right now. I'm not putting anything past it. Guard is up. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Crazy. A torn up wanted poster about a fugitive on the mountain dated 1998. Someone didn't want people to see this. Milgram Victor. Male 6'2. Last known address Blackwood Pines. Last seen. How they know that nigga was 6'2? This nigga probably. They probably didn't even know his height. But niggas over six foot, they always gonna let you know. He probably saw that he was wanted, saw the height have question marks, and then called in anonymously. Hey, I think that nigga kind of, I think he like six two. He be hooping and shit a little bit. I think he pulled hoes too. I, I swear to God, bro. I know that's how that. I know that's how that went. Here goes fast. Oh man, look at this. Nice. Oh wait, I forgot. I'm Chris. Get a visit from America's most wanted. Someone thought so. Come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Well, I got the key. I can't open it. The pass is beyond our control. You're not lying. Awesome. But who wrote that? After you. Oh, real gentleman. It must be really hard on Josh. I got a Mountain Dew snowboard. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I just gonna have to keep an eye on him must be going through so much yeah, shut up like i'm just kidding I, don't, I shouldn't be mean to her she could blackwood pines hotel and sanitarium what a crazy place to set up house sanatorium no matter how rich you are <laughs> so rich. for a healthy yeah, body and mind yeah Oh, that's weird. I thought the oh. car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. Wait, what was that? Was that a camera on the bathtub? Or that was a jacuzzi or something? Still kind of weird. So beautiful today. It just feels fantastic. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Forge. Cable car. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some disease, but okay. You be You began to wonder how he... where did I go wrong? I lost the like friend. So where along in a little nail. That's not even cable car. Yeah. It begins. Oh, Hell no, that's right. over my head. Oh no. Shout out to the Frey. There's some good dudes. Everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. Where's that one I person? I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, you know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. 
but the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. What a match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that shit is really it is actually crazy how people develop relationships with strangers and then end up being lifelong friends or companions or some sort of shit alone right now or we're talking to some other person entirely it's destiny boom but it's fate he's he's a part of this shit though you're not gonna tell me no different this is scream this is dead ass ghost face activity Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. She looked she looked like uh the I forgot her name. Abby? Was it Abby? Nah, maybe Abby was the the other one. I forgot her name. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Maybe it's the same face models, just reconstructed a little bit. Time to meet and greet. You got Trueys on? Do you really feel flying in true religions? No, those are. Ooh. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. I got hey, a lot of meat. Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. I don't really care, but... Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh... Yeah, I, I try not to do that, as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? Yeah, what? you waiting on Mike, you poo. Uh, I mean, you mean you know, on you me? uh -huh. No, Mike, wait. I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget it. Did that is insane. Take it all in. I would have stared out there for 10 seconds. The like full right on the panic attack. Existential crisis. <laughs> Intelligent, resourceful, persuade Mike's ex, Emily. Mm, so Emily and Jessica. Mm. Y'all be having weird ass friend groups like this and shit too. Like, nigga, it be y'all be dating the same people, being the same. Like, why? How do y'all be doing that? Y'all hate yourselves. Y'all masochists. Y'all like the pain. Y'all like to be involved with. I don't know. Y'all niggas watch too much Degrassi. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boy. Oh, she got her a new nigga. So look, they both look. I know how to. I know what's going on. She's using Matt. And Mike is using uh Jess. Whatever. Motivate. I had some motivated, ambitious, and active. What a black dude active. Oh, he's an athlete. That's the only way we're gonna care about him is if he's dribbling a ball. <laughs> Throwing a good pig skin. Man. <laughs> and where's the bellboy when you need one? Oh, of course you got a letterman's on too. Nigga walk like a Reggie steel. Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely, I mean, 
What do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh yeah, see this nigga weird. He's weird. Mike and Matt, Matt, brother's name was Matt. Mike and Matt got a scrap, bro, because you playing with me now. You disrespecting me. You you telling me you ain't got no respect for me. You sitting here popping up like, ah, oh, yeah, that's my bitch. She gonna be my bitch forever. But you know, you do your little thing, I guess. Are like, you too playful for me, my boy? I'm about to smack you on the back of the head. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. And then you go argue with my bitch in front of me? You nigga, move! Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I just want drama. I'm not gonna tell you again. Don't get too attached to these, these. Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. Be buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, 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 it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over I'm here. I'm making these decisions based yes. off of. I think you got the message. It's kinda hot when you get Drama. Off, but you know that? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? I don't know, because she's... Bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, Hell no! I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, Hell no! I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Okay, now this is what I would do. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. I wouldn't have took the bags though. Only one. Excuse me? Well, the more even at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweet. Drama! Thank you. <laughs> nah, she's funny as hell. Ain't no fucking way. See, I was gonna say, look, 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 look. Right before that happened, I was going to say, well, she didn't really show interest back. She wasn't, like, flirting with dude back. So, like, threatening him and being like, hey, chill out, bruh, is valid. If they was doing all that shit, then she, he should have been like, man, hey, that's you, bruh. Fuck it. Academic Ashley has a crush on Chris, inquisitive, for, for, forthright, forth, forth, fortnight. Yeah, Matt, you need to worry about yourself. Get on Ashley or something. I don't know. You seem like y'all all just fuck with each other. Look it! Oh, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Is that good drama? Is that good drama, man? Hey. Oh, oh, shit! <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare oh, you. Oh, no, he's like about to see. Oh my gosh. He oh needs my to God. see. I want him to see. Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? I called this, too. Like, you need uh, to get with Ashley. Let me check it out. I'm feeling really messy right now. Um, sure. Uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. <sighs> Son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it, Matt. I need him to. I needed him to see that so he could move on, get some new hoes. I'm looking out for him, but I think on on behalf of uh, Ashley, she probably wouldn't have done that. I don't really know her like that, but I, she probably would have been like, hey, don't look. She just seemed like she would read book, check phone. Man, let's see what's in there. Let's, let's see them DMs. Ooh. Oh, you did not just do that. 
Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. This nigga got all the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> what choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Role play? Man, get you a little snowball. I, I don't well, care if she gets played, so I'm like a... Hey! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> Great. Good pay. You know that? Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. I know all your tricks. <laughs> they made this game just to see who's a serial killer and who be harming animals for no reason. <laughs> they was just trying to get the analytics on that. Where they get this Erica Badu track at? Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. You want to? <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Oh! She right. says she a throw right. coat! Oh my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds very dirty. I caught that. Dirty. My lady. I caught that shit. Oh shit. Man, kiss that nigga. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't want to hear all that, but... Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Man, cool your little panini down. That shit getting moist and soggy down there. I think I smelled it a little bit. <laughs> Ugh, bitch, your pH balance off. Oh, you stink. That's my nigga, uh, him. What's his name? Hello again. What's up, bro? How you been? And how are we feeling? I'm all right. It's a little hot in here, but... Overall, I think I'm doing good, you know, root. Hard to scratch the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. Yeah, like my routine's been a little bit more uh, balanced, but I mean, this what time, is balance? You know, I think chasing balance to too much is is actually now pick up that book. harmful. Turn the pages. Okay, let me pay attention. see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Oh, I could do this. Women, for sure, man. Women just make me... All right, let me be for real. Men worry me more. Like, a woman... Women make me more anxious. Women don't make me anxious. Men men make me... Or... All right, this is this, this gay. But it's Pride Month. Men make me men make me more anxious because they're more to they're more to deal with. Men are more to deal with on like a physical level. Like if a nigga want to do harm to me, he want to rob me, he want to do some shisty to me. You know what I mean? Women are capable of doing that as well. But like in turn, men. I'll turn the page. Airplanes or crowds? Planes for sure. Drowning or heights or drown. Mmm, shit. I'm not really. I. Uh, uh, like, it's easy to say, like, I like. I fear. I like. I fear drowning more than I fear heights. But until you're really high up somewhere, that's. 
but it's not saying I'm gonna die from heights. So I'm, a, I'm, of course, I'm more afraid of drowning than heights. I like roller coasters and shit. Snakes or rats? For sure, snake. I don't want either either one of them in my circle though. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I want snake. I don't want no goddamn snake or no goddamn rats in my shit, twin. What are you talking about? A knife is scary. Guns are scary, but knives are like, mm, that's interesting. Cause I'm I'm more afraid of a like you point a gun at me, right? Point a gun at me. That's probably gonna make me more nervous than a knife. Cause a knife, I could get loose on your stupid ass. A gun, you could shoot me. A gun has a possibility of killing me quicker than a knife do, though. And knife wounds be worse than gun wounds at uh, a lot of times and shit. So, I would say knives are the okay. I'm gonna go with knives, just on some horror movie shit, cause it's like yeah, getting brutally. <coughs> that's scary. Knives are cocker. I got some in the kitchen right now, bro. I'm not afraid. Of I'm just kidding. <laughs> I do have a type of cockroach that we keep for hollow. My lizard, he be eating them and shit. But they're not that type of cockroach, bro. Don't get it twisted. I don't got, I don't got roaches in here, bro. Why did I even say that? Clowns or scarecrows? Um, I would say clowns are more twisted for sure. Scarecrows is making me think of Jeepers Creepers. Gore disgusts me. Crows are scary. It does, it doesn't disgust me. But this is also coming from a. But I feel like this is also another one of those things that people will just pick that, not knowing what actual. Gore, they're too used to seeing gore online. And when you see it in, in person, it's completely different. But to say crows are scary, like, I would say crows are scary just because of, like, I feel like what they represent. Uh, you didn't scare me, bitch. I startled you. No. So sorry. You didn't. You're doing very well. Dumping those. Bro, close your eyes a little bit. Lay off the perks. You speed up. You is that one of these things? Instinct, it is. The more your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. All right. Uh uh. Spiders, for sure. Absolutely. Even seeing that right now made me like want to wipe myself and check myself. I, needles or crows? I don't really. Needles don't scare me like that for real. Zombies or clowns? I kind of feel like zombies is kind of cool. As long as it's not like World War Z or I Am Legend zombies, I feel like a post-apocalyptic world would be kind of fun. Let me knock on wood a little bit, though. But clowns over zombies? Like, I'll oh, fuck a zombie up, bro. I fear dog. I don't fear dogs, but I fear wolves, which is in that picture, a fucking wolf. That ain't no dog, nigga. That's why I fear myself, because I got that dog in me. Storms are fucking cool. That's another one of those things in like, where it's like some people don't know what a real storm is. Like you go down south and get one of them storms. I'm just it's crazy. But like it's something about like. I'm going to be more afraid of a pack of wolves in front of me than a storm, though. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Nigga. Spiders. Put that wow. nasty ass laffy taffy Dog. tongue back in your mouth. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. See this fuck nigga trying to set me up. These this is why I'm talking about in real life. I'll never tell. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise. Oh no! Talk again very soon. That'll be thirty thousand dollars. I just realized that I just explained to y'all my weaknesses. And I just said that I would never tell niggas in real life my weaknesses, and I just did. I played myself. So you just gonna look out the window? To